Uh, hey guys, um, it's Evil, and today I'm doing a reaction video. Uh, just ignore what I'm doing in the background. I'm just just ordering a game. And, you know, just doing the usual. I'm reacting to uh, five sounds from gaming consoles that spook us as kids. I mean, I'm I'm a teenager, so I mean, we're gonna see how this works out and. Uh, and Team Sonic Racing, it's the official release of Team Sonic Racing, but we're going to watch gaming first. consoles fascinate me, and although they're not as high-tech as today's consoles, gaming consoles from the past have some qualities that make them just as good as the latest systems. <sighs> However, one very distinctive quality that old consoles have are their so-called Easter eggs and mm. error messages. Coming across these as a kid really spooked me, and the reason for this was not because of the visuals on the screen, but the sounds that came with the message. These eerie sounds definitely yeah. seemed out of place for a console that was meant to entertain, and it surely scared the all of you gamers. That said, here are five gaming console sounds that spooked us as kids. Alright, we got show us today. Sega CD Warning. Now what? this first sound doesn't come from a console, but rather a game disc with a warning. And the sound that plays Sega in this CD. message is just as creepy as the following sounds on this list, which is why I felt this needed to be here. This message would play after inserting a Sega CD oh, disc into a CD I player like that game, except instead for of a Sega CD it. console. In other words, if you were to place a Sega CD disc into a regular CD Hi, player, panic. you would get this message. Here, listen. Hmm. Warning, this disc is for use with a Sega CD system only. This disc contains CD-ROM data and is not for audio use. Please press stop on your disc player now. This but disc contains CD-ROM data that in the may background. damage your audio system. Please stop playing this disc immediately. Why? According to others who've tried this, leaving a Sega CD disc in the CD player would damage the speakers due to the loud, high-pitched guitar riffs that played. Now, I don't understand why Sega inserted those sounds when the woman who spoke sufficed, warning us with words I don't know why Sega, Sega do that. I really sounds, like Sega. I mean, I like Nintendo more, but Sega is awesome. And it would also have saved us from hearing those eerie sounds. Alright, what do you got for four? Fearful Harmony. What? Unlike the sound I just talked about, this next one comes from a console, the PS1. I'm the PS1 startup screen has always given me chills. Hearing yes. that sound after turning on the PS1 wasn't scary, just PlayStation cool is to hear. awesome. However, there is a sound on the PS1. I never owned a PlayStation 1, I only owned the PlayStation 2. It can be heard if you inserted a disc that the PS1 cannot read, such as a pirated game or a hmm. damaged disc. Upon inserting an unreadable disc, the PS1 would start up as usual, but after a few seconds, you would then hear a loud and startling sound and arrive at a screen similar to the startup screen. Then after waiting for a few seconds, a sound known as Fearful Harmony would begin to play. Here's the sound. Hmm. my first time. Whoa. Okay, that, that gave me shivers. That gave me a lot of shivers. Okay, now that's really spooky. Now what makes this frightening is the slow increase of the sound as you wait. It's almost as if PlayStation inserted this just to creep us out enough to never buy pirated games. This era I never buy rated M games because I'm not old enough. It isn't the only one from PlayStation. 
As you'll see next, there's more sounds from PlayStation consoles that scare kids. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Why, why, why would PlayStation do that? I love PlayStation. Why would PlayStation ever do that? Personified fear. Personified. Just like the previous sound, this next one can be heard on the PS1. <laughs> Personified fear, the name of the sound, can occur if you inserted an unreadable disc or if the BIOS of the PS1 is corrupted. Now, um, unlike Fearful Harmony, Personified Fear stops playing after a few seconds. <coughs> However, that's just enough time to make you feel uneasy. Here, hmm. have a listen. That shivered me again. The sudden swoosh of the sound and its harshness was just enough to give me goosebumps. But what makes this scarier is the silence that follows. On top of that, you also arrive at a black screen. The darkness that's, coupled that's with just the probably silence edited. can put you on edge, expecting a jump scare. Thankfully, Why would that give you that. goosebumps? I have no idea. Alright, what do you got for number two? The PS2's red screen of death. By now, you're probably surprised that most of these sounds come from PlayStation consoles. But I promise you that the I, last sound on this list will not play be coming from two. PlayStation. That was the first console I've ever played on. That it's creepier than the ones I've already said. Now this error message, known as the Red Screen of Death, appears on the PS2. And just like all of PlayStation's error messages, the Red Screen of Death comes with an unnerving sound. What is that? Listen. Okay, 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 before I start, I did get the PlayStation 2 Red Screen of Death. I did when I was a little kid. I did I placed a Thomas the Tank Engine game for only for PC. I put it in the PlayStation 2. Then I really wanted to see if it worked. But then I got the red screen of death. And I was crying. I was getting upset. I had to run to my brother's room. I had to run to my dad. I think my dad was in there too. And I was just like, no, come over here. Come over here. And they were just like, wait, what the heck happened to your PlayStation 2? It actually, this was my brother's PlayStation 2. I like... I was so upset, like, I didn't even, but we're gonna continue this. Ooh, you got a lot of storage on there, boy. Oh, oh my god, the memories. The, the memories, oh god, they're coming back. They are coming back. You can get this message by inserting an unreadable disc, such as an Xbox or PC game. Seeing the screen turn red as dark ambient music played is probably what made this creepy. Now, before I move on to the next sound on this list, I just want to add that PlayStation has made other creepy things like their commercials. Okay. And because of that, it makes me wonder if PlayStation deliberately made these error messages frightening. Oh, God, that's knows? creepy. That's freaking creepy. It's a freaking baby. I'm not saying I hate babies. I love babies. Xbox. Xbox. If you've ever owned the first Xbox, I never owned the first you've Xbox, so... heard one of its creepy sounds. Unlike the other consoles on this list, Xbox has a few hidden sounds, all of which are downright creepy. Now most of these sounds play in the background as you wait on the console's dashboard, but there are some sounds Yo, that's that a are dope looking Xbox screen. The system. These deeply hidden sounds were discovered after someone had extracted the audio that's files from the Xbox's Xbox hard menu. drive. And to no surprise, these sounds are quite unsettling. Here are some of the sounds that were found. Let me see. Oh god, I'm getting shivers already. Okay, that that's scary. That was scary. Oh god, I would not listen to this at, at night. Good thing it's not the night. Demon? Get out of here, you demon! Yeah, yeah. 
Robot. What, what are you trying to say? I am a robot? Be moving, bro. Be moving, bro. I'm sorry. According to Microsoft, these sounds are actually public domain audio from NASA transmissions from the Apollo days that they tweaked. In other words, these were NASA transmissions that were modified in such a way that they came out sounding creepy. And the reason for adding these sounds, according to Microsoft, was so that the console would seem like it was made of technology from another world. Yeah. The intention to make the Xbox unlike any other console by adding those Just sounds watching. was a success. But hearing those Just sounds a as a kid video. didn't make us think the Xbox was a No, I didn't buy it yet. I will. Oh, it comes out today. Yeah. Why don't you buy it? I, oh, we'll buy it. Until we watch this. Sounds from consoles I left out. Let me oh, you're listening to like someone review it or something? Yeah. I'm Bizarre Bub, and I'll see you in the next countdown. I mean, I think you're going to buy it regardless, right? So, before I end like this video, I just want to say so. thank you guys yeah. so much for Pretty watching much. my vids and staying sub to my I channel. I will buy it. Even the whole no, I have with them, Like, geez, it's been a month since I last uploaded a video. But the reason for that is because I want I'm to make sorry about that. That was just my brother that just talking about before. the game. And I also want to make sure that get... it's something worth watching. And that takes a while that was to just do. My brother. But you guys being there, my subs, really motivated. I can't say his name, bro. Knowing that there's someone expecting me to make a video and knowing that there's people enjoying my videos is what So I'm going to have to end it right here. That was just my brother just walking in the room just telling me if I'm getting that game. Um, Yeah, Team Sonic Racing. It's coming out today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do gameplay on it. So guys, I'll hope you guys next time and I'll do, see you in the next reaction video. Peace out. Bye. See ya.